Now you have strength at top. Come, let's see. I'll keep dragging you to this gym until the day you decide to swim with Sarah, please stop, 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 ah, shit, stop now. Come. Stop, my boy, go away, please. Stop. 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 stop now. This God. You walk. Do you have Jesus' number? No, Your Highness. Send for the rest of the guards yes, and the maidens as well. Yes, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. Does any of you have a Jesus? I don't have it. You don't? Do you have it? No, 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 you are just. You, you. Go to Jesus' shop in search of the princess. If you get there and you do not see her, then bring to this palace, whatever that is breathing there. To this palace. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes. Move now, move! Everybody to your post. Yeah. Young man, what did you do to my dog? No, sir. Tell me what I'm you did. I'm just a helper. I'm just a helper. I'm just a helper. I'm just a helper. What kind of helper? I'm just a helper. Um, my princess fell inside the Hey, what am I going to do? Come on, come on, come Enter the car. Enter the car. Put her in the car. Quickly. Open the car. Open the car. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, brain injury. Yes. It usually occurs when um, when there is a crash, like an accident, or a severe trauma to the head. Yes, that affects uh, the skull and invariably the brain. 
uh, causing some kind of shock to the brand. And um, the result of that is that um, the victim will have things like um, loss of memory, yes, um, even loss of consciousness. What has wrong me, Eva? This, uh, all these uh, medical jargons, I, I don't understand them, but let me ask, what is the way forward? Uh, um, all right, Your Highness. Uh, I have to state that this situation is severe. Yes, her case is quite serious. So I'm going to admit her for some days. I can't tell how many, but she has to be admitted so that proper medical diagnosis and care will be taken. Hmm. Doctor, um, my daughter's life is in your hands. Please take care of her. Take care of her. She is all I have. Huh? The cost, I don't care whatever it costs, I will bear it. I will pay you whatever it costs. Of course, Your Highness. Uh, you and I have come a long way. Yes, um, my oath of being a medical doctor is to save lives. And I have been doing that for years now. So you, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, but I have to point out, Your Highness, that uh, your daughter will require the presence of her loved ones to be able to recover quick from loss of memory. Mm. Yes, yeah, she needs people who discuss things that happened in the past so that uh, gradually she can begin to recollect her memory. That's what you You're welcome. Uh, we will organize ourselves and uh, uh, we will show up. Hmm? We will always be there for her. She is my only child. So please, take care of her. Huh? Of course, Your Highness. Uh, I will do my very best. Uh, just come down and um, uh, we'll get out of this. We will. We will. Mama, you look worried. What is it? Uh, yes, I do. I was afraid. What, what took you this long? Afraid of what? I've been waiting for you. I didn't see you. So why did you say this long? Mama, you like being afraid. Any little thing. I, I, you're afraid. You're worried. Stop, but to avoid BP. I got to the stream. All of a sudden, someone shouted for help. On arrival, I saw it was a young girl lying down unconsciously, drowning. Chiniki. I had to help. But to my greatest surprise, when we got to her parents' house, it turned out that she is the princess of our land. Ah! Ekwala! Life. Princess, princess of this kingdom? The princess. She didn't move. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the moment they rushed her to the hospital, I started coming back. Hey, yeah. Uh, mm. So, uh, how is she feeling now? I wouldn't know. I didn't. Uh, I left them now. You need to leave us. I want to have a few words with my daughter. Go. Kaima. Kaima. Oh! Just look at you. See how helpless you are. Eh? You're not eating. No one even knows whether you're breathing or not. Eh? See what stubbornness has brought to your life. 
you were given just a few, a little, a little chance. But you took a whole mile. Now see what stubbornness has done to you. Eh? What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, excuse me, Your Highness. Please, uh, with due respect, my patient needs love and attention at this point in time, not interrogation. I'm sorry. Daughter has love and care in abundance. What she doesn't have is direction. That's what she lacks. And that's why she is where she is. Of course, Your Highness, but at this point in time, she is under my care, and I can tell you for sure what exactly she needs. Love, care, and attention. So just calm down. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Okay? Start talking. You and I went to the river for bath. And after that, when we were about leaving, you slide and hit your head on a sharp cliff of rock under the water. And immediately you became unconscious. That's exactly what brought us here. Are you okay? Under the water. Hmm. It's further away. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Where is my phone? Your phone? Yes. My phone. Where is it? It should be at the palace. Or maybe at the river. River? Wait, let, let me try. Let me try the number. Let me try it for a minute. I'm not the owner of the phone, no. I don't, I don't think the owner of the phone is around, but I just, just saw it here. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't hang up. Please, wait, just wait. Um, the owner of the phone is here. Ah. Where? At um, Imperial Hospital. Please, I would appreciate if you can get the phone for me, please. I'm so sorry for, for the inconveniences. Please, just help me and bring it. Hello? Sorry. 
Do you need water? Do you still have Fred's number? Um, let me check. Should be in my phone. Call him. Hello, who is this? It's me, Kaima. Ah, beautiful princess. What happened? I've been calling your line since yesterday severally, but you weren't picking your calls. I will explain all of that later. You need to know that I am in the hospital. In the hospital? You went there to see someone? No. On admission, rather. What? Admitted? What happened? Hope it's not something serious. It's a head injury. But I guess I am responding to treatment. Good, good. Uh, what's the name of the hospital? Um, it's um, in Imperial... Imperial Hospital. Imperial Hospital. Ward 23. Ward 23. Imperial Hospital, Ward 23. All right, please hold on, okay? Let me change up. I'll, I'll meet you soon, all right? without telling me the word. Hello, please. Who is on the line? Mm -hmm. I beg. Which word? Let me now. Where you going, Nana? Oh, okay, please. Just come to word 23. Word 23? Okay. Seems he was close when I spoke with him. Who? Fred, of course. It's not Fred, it's the guy with your phone. The same guy that helped you carry to the pallet the other day. Princess is getting better. Who is this? The, the guy with the phone. Drop it and get out. What? Did get I out. did I do something wrong? It's okay. Did get out! What's my princess? Did anyone wrong? I don't understand. Just 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 come back. Who is he? You know, buddy. Oh, okay. Get out. Send the maids with, uh, with our friend Chinova. And all of them will spend the time in the hospital with her. 
Uh, Your Highness, uh, I, with due respect, this is not about dignity or protocol. You need to come over here and spend quality time with her to avoid any form of relapse. When is she going to be discharged? Uh, well, uh, until she is confirmed fit enough to be alone. Uh, but for now, I cannot assure you that the time is close. I, I, I cannot say for sure, Your, Your Highness. We're just taking it one day at a time. Well, I don't see how I can leave the palace and spend unspecified time at the hospital. I mean, this, this is ridiculous. Uh, Your Highness, if you truly love your daughter, and I believe you do, then this is essential. Please. That girl is so annoying. She doesn't respect me. She doesn't know her age grade because she's a princess. She gets angry so quick. To crown it all, she treats me like an animal. My son, you don't have to feel bad about how people treat you. Yes. All you need to do is to be challenged with it. Work harder, move forward. Challenge accepted because I've made up my mind to relocate to the city. Huh? City what? Yes. Can you go to the city and leave me here all alone to myself? You want me to die of boredom? Is that what you want for me? Mama, is it that you choose dying from extreme boredom or dying from extreme poverty? Okay, okay. If, if you get to the city now, who do you know? Where will you stay? How will you survive? Mama, when I get to that bridge, I will cross it. Kesti believe how someone who adore simplicity could be so tough on someone so humble and kind-hearted. What do you mean? What I mean is that you acted so wrongly on someone who saved your life. And was also there when another life threatening issue we so faced. Where is Fred? My prison, I'm talking about something important. I asked him of Fred. Anyways, he left immediately instead of fidgeting. Please. Can you call him for me? My phone battery is drained. At least let's be sure he's okay. My brother, please. Please, can you just stop fantasizing and face reality for once? Please. You know nothing about reality. And I will appreciate it if you do not meddle into what you know nothing about. I know love. I know exactly what love is all about. It's not selfish. It's not. I know what I'm talking about. Please, just stop. My classy Fred. My classy, handsome Fred is every woman's dream. And I love him a lot. My son, it is an honor for you to have served her. You may not receive reward from her directly, but definitely you will get your reward. That is karma for you. <coughs> Mama, these days people value money than honor. Yes, and that's why I want to go to the city and make money so that people can respect me. 
Respect. Is that all you want for yourself? Respect. That is all you care for? Um, I need to make money, get married, raise a family, take care of you. All that demands money. So money is needed, no matter how you see it. Why are they still coming? The princess. Hello? <laughs> I said I should come back to the hospital, that the princess wants to see me now and then. Go. Yes. Maybe she wants to apologize to you. I'm not sure she's ready to apologize. Me, I'm not ready for any, for any, for any embarrassment. I'm not ready for any other embarrassment. I am not ready for any embarrassment again. Son, go. Go. You never can tell. Go. <clears throat> It is when you get there, you know why she's calling you. You don't have to give up on life. Yes. Life is not a bed of roses. Don't worry. If she embarrasses you, blame me on this. Put the blame on me. I asked you to call Fred, and you dialed his number. But I already told you it was a mistake. I wanted to call Fred, as you said. But the young man picked. I didn't look at my phone before I died the last number. And besides, I was in a hurry to deliver the message. My airtime was not enough. Why not tell me you've got some feelings for that young man? What? Instead of making flimsy excuses for your mistake. This is unbelievable. My princess. Few minutes ago, I spoke about your despicable behavior towards that young man. And you shoved it aside. Little did I know that you've lost your conscience as well. You know what? I'm leaving. It's over. It's over. It's over. In as much as you just spoke to me rudely, I'll still apologize to you. You have no such right whatsoever to speak to me in that manner and tone. That's simply the truth. I am your friend. I have to tell you the truth. Okay, fine. I, I am sorry. Is that okay? Go out there and apologize to him. To who? To him. Of course you and I know I will never do a thing like that. You see? Stubbornness and pride still rules you. Okay, fine. I, I will apologize to him. Help me call him. Mm -mm. I won't do that. You know why? Why not? So it will look as if I'm interested in that young man. Smash your pride. Go and talk to him yourself. Because you're a princess, I saved your life. I brought back your food. What do I get in return? Insults upon insults. Huh? What's wrong with that? Your broken head. Because you're a princess, I don't blame you. Because you're a princess. I saw Katay Zanya, a blue cat and you go. 
You've been insulting me. What's my offense? I saved your life. I brought back your food. So why are you insulting me? Must you be rude because you're a princess? I'm not happy. Oh. <laughs> I'm not the human being. Look at the way you've been talking to me. Get out. Go. Hey, nobody. Ah. So give me a princess. Me, I'm not happy. Oh. Do you realize you're talking to the princess of this land? So I should disappear because you're a princess. Are you the first princess? I saved your life. I did my best. I brought back your phone. But you keep insulting me. What's my offense? Were you not there? Are you not a special advisor? Can't you advise her? Come. I'm not coming. Madame, please come. In fact, I'm leaving. Madame, come. I'm not coming. Come. Oh. Zatanda! Are you? Your Highness, my name is Lotanna Chikadibia. Lotanna, are you a grandson to the late great medicine man Chikadibia? Yes, Your Highness, that's my grandfather. I see. Healing runs in your blood. Thank you, Your Highness. Please, I have to leave. I need to attend to my little business. Good day, Mama. Good day, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Okay. Um, Ma, I want to buy fish. Fish? Yes. Lutana is not around. I don't know why he's not here back. Okay. That means I'll go and come back. It's okay, my daughter. Please do, eh? Okay. Come back later. Maybe by then he'll be back. Okay. Oh? Okay. All right, my dear. Wait. What is keeping him? Where is he? Where did he go to? I just hope that all is well with him. You are blessed from God. Not at all. I want you all to imagine this scenario that has just played out. Imagine a scenario where your king, that's me, went to the hospital, took a bed as a babysitter. And that's a true scenario. I have to babysit my dear daughter here. All that is past now. But it brings me to what I really want to say. I wish to appoint a personal guard for my daughter here, the princess. Lutanda, the grandson of Chika Dibia, is hereby appointed the personal guard to the princess. And I have placed him on a salary scale far above what you all earn. This is with a view to letting you understand how important this appointment is. I hope there are no questions. No questions, you Father, please, can... Can I talk to him private? <sighs> all right, boys and girls. You may all go back to your various duty posts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Pesken. What oh, father? Why would you take such a decision without my consent? Why? How can you appoint a personal guard for me without even telling me? Kaima, I do not need your permission to protect you. There are other young men in this community. Why him? Father, that guy stinks. He stinks badly. He saved you. He saved your life. I do not care, Father. Well, I do. I care. He resumes duty immediately. No, Father. <clears throat> Father, please. You walk. Yes. I don't really understand what's happening in this palace. What is it? Why would the king impose a personal guard on princess? Does it really matter what the princess feels about the king's decision? He is the king. <laughs> he is the king. And so his decision supersedes that of his daughter. That's right. His decision supersedes every of his subjects. That's how it works here. Mind your business. Back to your duty post. Lotana. What is it? Eh? This is no longer funny. Ever since you are with the princess, you please come back late. Eh? Mama, am I missing? Am I a baby? Mama, all is well now. I'm not saying I have no good baby. news. Lutanda, Gabriel, no good news. What I'm trying to say is that, oh, but you didn't enjoy. Days are bad. I want you to be careful out there. No problem, Mom. I ain't tell that for I will. Anyway, let me break this good news for you. Now. Uh, what is it? The king made me the special assistant to the princess. Who? <laughs> are you for real? I'm telling you, and guess what? What? My salary is double of what they're paying other guards. <laughs> this is really good news. <laughs> Simple work. All I have to do is just say like this. Okay? Yes, your yes, princess. Sir. Yes, yes sir. your majesty. <laughs> Month end, they give me money. What it comes. <laughs> Very simple work. And this, um, I, I believe that is the princess that made this one to be possible. Uh, I can't say, but the king called me and told me that from Thank now, I'm the personal guard Chai. of the princess. Chai, <laughs> This is good. I'm really happy. Indeed, it's a good news. It's a good news. Mama, let's do it. Chai. You see, you see that place? Hey. I don't like to be here. I come I come I come I His body beat is okay. <laughs> you are right. And he is also very brave. Eh, uh -huh. Neka. I heard he's a fisherman. How come he sounds so eloquent? Being a fisherman does not mean one is that. It's an occupation, choosing maybe by passion or lack of jobs in the society. Um, um, my name is Neka, one of the palace maidens. I'm Adaku, also a maiden in this palace. You guys already know my name, right? It was nice meeting you people. What were you doing there? 
I was pushing up. Were you not supposed to be by my side? My princess, I noticed you needed space. Yes, yeah, so I had to leave. You're such an irrational man, Lutanma. Henceforth, I don't want to ever see you talking to those girls. Your duty within the palace is within my confinement and can be stretched if need be. Are we clear on that? That's almost impossible, my princess. Maidens and guards work together to serve better. Our job are interwoven. So avoiding each other won't be easy. I do not care if your jobs are interwoven or not. You are in this palace for me and me alone. And that stands. I repeat, henceforth, don't ever say a word to those girls. All right. After me. I have a very important information for you girls. <laughs> Radio with our battery. What is the gossip this time? Is that how you see me? I'm going back to my fridge. Go where? <laughs> hey, I see gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry now. I was going to eat as much as I don't like when you talk too much. Tell us. Anyways, you girls just have to be careful with the princess's newly appointed guard. Why? I overheard the princess scolding him, telling him to be mindful of the maidens. I don't want you guys to get into trouble, so you just have to be very, very careful. Hey! Is that jealousy or what? Eh? Now we say me could be fine girls. I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, I've passed my information to you girls. Anyway, we're we'll doing something behind the house. Can't continue. Let me go. Go on, go on. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. It didn't be true. She heard it. Or maybe she she just because I don't trust her. Please wait. Stands. Oh yeah, let's go. Keep your hand like this now. This is trending something. <laughs> He seemed not to be what I envisaged of him. Every new day unravels new and unique things about him. Is he really a fisherman? Or is there something fishy about him? His appearance is so down to earth. Yet when he speaks, his words carry volume. I don't even have peace of mind because the thought of him already saturated my mind. if he's emotionally entangled with any of the maidens. Well, that would be tantamount to the replacement of such a maiden.
everyone know me as a calm, polite and kind princess. What? My princess, I believe you, but at the same time, I'm still in doubt. Of course. What you did is a sign of doubt. Yes, because it's hard to believe. I think you misunderstood me. I'm a very calm person. Well, life is funny. Yesterday I was treated like you're an arch enemy. And here you are treating me like a best friend today. Life is indeed funny. That is life for you. Anyways, there is something about you that I have been struggling to solve like a puzzle. So I wouldn't mind if you can help me. What is that? Who really are you, Lutana? I am Lotanna Chika Dibia, the son of Undoka, a fisherman that lives with his mom. I already know all of that about you. But I want to know more. So please, who are you? My princess, I already told you who I am. Except you want me to start lying. No. Just the truth. The truth about you. The truth about your identity. The truth about the man that is seated in my presence. Please. Who are you? Why do you keep busy in your call? Because it's no one important. I would want you to do me a favor today. Would you mind? Okay. I'm all ears. Stand at my door. Do not let anyone in, irrespective of who he or she is. Your wish is my command, my princess. But are you expecting anyone? <laughs> well, not really. But someone might come. She's my command.
What's wrong with your hand? You hardly need to say it. It's a serious matter. The partner guards don't think that Kaima did this to me. Really? Yes, Your Highness. Yes, he's doing his job. What? That's unbelievable. Are you supporting him morally? I'm off it, Fred. Here he is. You left my daughter when she needed you. Now you're back, you want to pick it up from where you left. Your Highness, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. I've been busy. Schedules about schedules, appointments after appointments. I'm sorry, I promised to make it up to her. I will. So, did, did you see her? No, no, I did not see her. I was about meeting her and I was interrupted by the personal guard. And before I did this to me, I wasn't able to see her. Did you call through before coming? Yes. Yes, Your Highness, I called. Several. And she kept busy in my calls. Go. No. I will. I will speak with her. I'm sure she's still uh, smarting from uh, what you did to her. Thank you, Your Highness, sir. I'll take my leave. I'm so disappointed. Very, very disappointed. How can you be my eye in this palace and allow someone else to take the princess away from me? Oh, huh? I'm, I'm only a guy. But what do you expect? What do I expect you to do? I expect you to come and defend me. What are you doing of a girl starting to bang my head? Huh? What are you doing? All you are gold in is extorting money from me. That's all you are gold in. What about the money I've been what about the money I've been giving to you and you stand there without defending me? Not fine, Igwe. How can a common fisherman, a common fisherman, drag my own fiance with me? If I told you about it, if I complained to you, I complained to you about this whole thing, but instead you gave me a deaf ear and you promised me that you're gonna talk with the princess. I've not heard from you, I'm not heard from the princess. Uh, right. What's wrong with you? Listen. I am the Igwe of this community. I rule everyone. You, your father who is the senator, everyone. 
Listen, whenever you speak to me, speak with reverence, not arrogance. Nonsense. Uh, Igwe. Igwe. God, how, how can a common fisherman drag my own fiancé with me? How? This is the height of disrespect. The height of disrespect from the king and the princess. to give me a massage. I've been having body pains for a long time now. Your wish is my command, my princess. Sorry, my princess. I can't go beyond this point. But you accepted to do the job. I've done my part. I beg to take my leave. No time. My princess. With all due respect, my princess, this is not part of my job. Shh. I decide what your job in this palace is. Stop. Hey. I need to leave this place now. Please. play gradually what will he be thinking of me now I can no longer pride myself before him sent for me, my princess. May I have some words with you? 
If it is about what happened yesterday, it has gone with yesterday. How do you know about that? Your countenance told me. Lutana, hope I will not be blackmailed. I have no proof to do that. Please, will you forgive me? I know I have done worst thing ever. My princess, you have done nothing worse than what people do in secret. Like I said, let bygone be bygone. Thank you very much. This means a lot to me. When will you be going to see your mom? Why do you ask, my princess? I'm interested. I would love to see her as well. You are welcome anytime, any day, my princess. Thank you. Thanks for your kind gesture, Jonathan. I appreciate it. It's nothing. I beg to take my leave. Now, Princess, you are supposed to order him, not begging him. Most times, you have to apply diplomas in order to win a war. You must not be confrontational. Well, I am not here for you to lecture on morality. I'm here so we can settle our differences. The difference here is that you, Mr. Fred, is dogged by what you want. That's what you need. See? Princess, uh, without mixing words, you know that I love you so much. And I want you to marry me. I'm so sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. I'm sorry about that, but please. Give me this one last chance and I will never mess it up. The truth is that the vacuum has been filled by another when you left. And you don't expect me to walk him out of my life just like that, do you? Uh, he, he's a nobody, right? He doesn't count. I, I, I love you so much, you know how far we've gone. I'm the son of a, a serving senator. You don't need nobody. Princess. Princess! What an insolence. This is the height of disrespect. Me, Fred, the son of Senator Wachuku. Ah. Igwe must hear this. Nah. Igwe must hear this. Igwe! Huh. Agaba, do you know there's a lot of things happening in this palace that we cannot remove our eyes from them? Well, what are you talking about? We are about to witness the biggest wrestling festival of love in this palace. Ah, seriously? Yes, now. Between who? Between Fred and Lotana. Yeah. Fred and Lutan. Mm -hmm. What happened? What was the problem? Now listen, the other day, mm -hmm. the princess and Lutana were together. Okay. And all of a sudden, Fred walked in and told Lutana to leave. For what? Uh -huh. Why would he tell Lutana to leave? Is it because Lutana is just an ordinary guard like us? You see the problem? That's the problem we're facing here. Now, trust Lutana now. The Odogu with us, mm -hmm. the Buruburu one, he refused to leave. Good. He stood his ground and he said no, until the princess decided to beg him to leave. I trust Lotana. Lotana is not, is not a coward like Chihuahua. No, 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 no. He's a very brave man. That's how we roll. But, uh, it's okay. you know the way we're doing this thing? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. nobody should come and there. Uh, <laughs> Why not? Why 
Your Highness. I was with uh, Princess Kaima. I knelt down, I begged her. I wailed. But instead, she walked out of me. She told me someone else won her heart. I, I didn't understand this, Your Highness. That's not true. She was only pulling your nails. From all indication, Your Highness. She's very, very serious. She told me herself. Someone has won her heart. Yes. That's a big fallacy. I know my daughter. No one comes here to see her. No one. Well, I'm sorry I have to shout it, but Fred, no one comes here to see my daughter. All right, Your Highness. Uh, if you are insinuating that I am accusing her wrongly, then why don't you send for her? At least for fair hearing. I'll go up and bring her down myself. Fair enough? Yes, yes, yes. Fair enough. Fair enough. Excuse me. Not to prodigals. Do you remember the prodigal? You remember the parable of the prodigal son in the Bible? He was forgiven, Father, and even given a better opportunity. Not an actual event, not a real occurrence. Kaima. Kaima, you disgraced me. 
time and time again. Kaima, what's the matter with you? Kaima, you did the unimaginable. You rejected Fred. Kaima, little did I know that you were having an affair with that, that nonentity, that, that gold digger. Ah. Lutana is not a gold digger. You, you need to know him beyond being a fisherman and the palace godfather. There is something about him. Something about him that is special and unique. And you need to know that, father. Reconcile with Fred. See, I'm not going to tell him what happened. Right? No one even needs to know what happened except to tell the person. Father, you need to know that I have no issues with Fred. But I cannot see myself. I spent the rest of my life with him. The sight of that man disgusts and irritates me. Do not push me into this, Father. I am begging you. You have been bewitched. Utterly bewitched by that gold digger. Lutana did not bewitch me, Father. Something inside of him did. Father, please, forgive Lutana. Allow him back to the palace. What? I thought you were going to come here. Sounding remorseful. Now you are asking something that's impossible. No, father. There is nothing impossible for the king, for my father. You can make it possible if you want to, father. Please. Leave my presence. Get out of my sight! What is it? Can you just tell me what happened? Can you not tell me what happened? Mom, please. I need to be left alone. I need space to put myself together. Son, I am your mother. You are my son. Whatever it is, feel free to tell me whatever secret it is. Feel free to tell me. I will sell it. I will tell you when the time is right. For now, I need space, please. Let me be. Okay. Did you fight? Did you argue with anyone? Why are you here? Why did you come back? Mama, Ebo Jelumba, Anatago. Simple. Don't worry, when the time is right, I will tell you. For now, please, just leave me.
Neka. You have to go out of the Um, this one, Lutanda, ran out of the palace like a mantle. So all is well. If you ask me, who will I ask? I even intend asking you. I remember um, trying to ask Iwoko and Agatha, but they wouldn't give me listening ears. So you tell it. Me, you need a start of information. So tell them. Hmm. Also, many so of them. Two, the king asked that Lutanda should be checked away. Um, but uh, I asked you, Woko. You see, he doesn't have uh, what I got the clue of what is going on. Look at that. Eh? Nijo Kwam, Um, I could be in Kagi. It is so strange. Only the Princess Taima and Igwe knows about it. Oh, I called you. It's somehow. It's true. It's true. You're right. No wonder Igwe cannot do anything without listening to Princess Kaima. The way Igwe listens to Princess Kaima this time around is actually becoming so strange that even Igwe have to tell Iwoko not allow Princess Kaima to leave the palace without a guard or a medicine. Nene, please come in. I want to tell you something. This one, you are whispering and murmuring. Hope what am I safe? Eh, as you can see, we are walking. I'm sweeping. Eh? So I need to go back to my sleeping. I need to be fast. Oh, you are sweeping and walking. Okay. If I see up there, make on a. Can I not try to share for me? Go back to your duty, please. Can I? Make on a share up there. Hey, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> okay, go now. Good afternoon, Your Highness. Fred! Fred, sit down. Thank you, Your Highness. Sit down. Uh, Your Highness, you called me on the phone and you sounded so urgent. I hope all is well. Eh, Fred. <laughs> all is well. Don't worry, Fenerman. It's, uh, um, the proposal you dropped with us concerning the ultra modern, modern market. Huh? My cabinet and I, we have George George, we have read, we have gone through thoroughly. We've discussed and we think that, yes, you can now start. Igwe, I'm, I'm sorry. I had a change of mind. I'm no longer interested. What? No, no. That's not fair. I'm sure you don't want to ridic put me to ridicule before before the community and and my chiefs. Eh? It's not my fault, Igwe. It's not my fault. So it's my fault? No, Igwe. I never said so. Igwe, uh, I was emotionally traumatized. And the cause was because of Princess Kaima. I told my father to give your daughter a slot out of the two slots from the Ministry of Petroleum. What did I get in return? Rejection. I'm sorry, Your Highness, I had to change my mind. <laughs> Fred. 
Fred. Fred. And where do Louis we balonwa? Anger. Anger does not fetch us anything meaningful. Hmm? Yes. See, see, uh, 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 a, a chicken, a hen, gathers its food from left, from right, and all around heaps food. And then, in a fit of an anger, begins to scatter. Fiam, 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 fiam. Fred. Will it go hungry? Yeah, come on. I know where your anger is coming from. I know where your grief is coming from. Fred, Kaima is my daughter, and I know how to handle her. I assure you that. <laughs> Junwa, my princess, you are the most trusted maiden in this palace. Can I trust you? Yes, my princess. Have you ever loved? Have you ever loved someone so much before? Like, have you fell in love before? Yeah. No, 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 my friend. I am asking something. Have would you want to listen? Okay. Have you ever loved someone so much? that you cannot do without him. Have you ever loved someone so much that... Your Majesty. Would you? Your Majesty. Get out. Why have you chosen to disgrace me? I don't understand. How do you mean, Father? Kaima, what has Fred not done for you? Listen, Kim, Kaima. Fred will take very good care of you if he marries you. The question should be, what has Fred not done for me? Um, if Fred marries me, Father, he will not and cannot take good care of me. The accident error confirmed it. Asege. Okutu kwa asege. At the insistence of Fred, his father gave the appointment with the Federal Ministry of uh, Petroleum Resources. Fred himself has come into this community now to give us an ultra-modern market. What is it that he hasn't done for us? We're all beneficiaries of that. For that, my father is selling me off for the good of the community. 
from inception, Father, my life, my entire existence, have been tied to either tradition or affluence. But that must stop. Henceforth, whatever it is that does not matter to me will not ruin my happiness. Grandma, don't be ridiculous. Come on, Father. Come on. I am hell-bent on my decision. Now listen, Fred will marry you. I will marry Lutana. Pregnant for who? Lutana. Father of my youth. A king that raised me even without my mother. The toughest of them all as a king. I am begging you. I am begging you to accept Lutanda. Accept him as your own. And give us your blessings and support. That is not too much of me to ask. I Are my ears failing me or? Am I hearing correctly? Am I? Am I? Hey, 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 see, see. You must get rid of that thing there. Get rid of it. Get rid of it immediately. Take it off. I bought it now. Father, it's my child. Your grandchild, Father. A child of woman. You only woman I've ever loved. 
That is who you refer to as a thing. It is not fair, Father. You will not tell me what is fair, whether it is fair, whether it's not fair to call what you have there as a thing because that's what it is. So I bought it. Take it off. That will be over my dead body. That I have bought the child of the only man who gave me life when the doctors failed. The one God used to save me. I will never do that. But if you do not want to accept this child, this child that I am carrying, as your grandchild. If you do not want to accept Lotana as my husband to be, I will have no option than to leave this palace in search of him. Listen, if you leave this place in search of that riffraff or any other person for that matter, if you walk out of this place, I will disown you. I will. Cease to be your father. So be it, father. It's your choice to cut all ties with your only child. It is your decision to make that you have done. Iwako. Iwako. I want you to ensure that Kaima does not for any reason leave this palace. Yes, Your Highness. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Highness.
She's not in her room and she's nowhere to be found. Princess? Yes! Let me go and check. Please go and check. You don't see her at all. Wake up, wake up. Princess, she's not in her room and she's nowhere to be found. Hey! Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. The king is calling us. Come. Everybody, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What is the primary duty of guards in the palace? Your Highness, to protect the king and his entire household. And the maidens? Your Highness, to take care of the chores in the palace and also to be with the princess always. That's correct. You both have answered very well. Now you tell me this. Who aided Kaima's escape from the palace? Your Majesty. Last night, I personally locked the gate and gave the key to Chihuahua. You gave who? Chihuahua. When did you give me the key? Chihuahua. When did you give me the key? He gave you the key when he was about using the confidence. That's true. He did. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's true. Then who took the key from me? Who finally took the key from me? You will say where you kept the key in hell. Chihuahua, Chihuahua. Hey! Why are you so careless now? Okay. Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Why are you so careless? Come on! Where is he? He's at me! He's at me! He's at me! Next time you do your duties! That was what happened. So I left to spend the night with Chizoba. I wanted to spend more time with her there. But she's scared of what my father would do to her if he finds out that I'm squatting with her. Lotana. I 
I am pregnant with your child. I am carrying your baby. My father wanted me to abort this baby. But that is not what I want for myself. He also threatened to disown me if I go looking for you. I don't know. You can move in here with me. Just that you have to lower your standard. No electricity here. No air condition. No bottle water. No maid to serve you. And no car to take you around. So if you're ready to lower your standard, we are together. Those are not my problems. If you can stay here and still be okay, I can manage. Father, that's how it happened. Well, sir, I'm disappointed in the attitude of my friend. Welcome towards all this development. I really don't know what has come over him. Father, I've never been humiliated like this before. I felt so embarrassed. That's my reason for courting all projects. I mean, they can use us and dump us. They can't use us and dump us. It's not possible. Well, um... In any case, I will wait for his call. But if he doesn't call, I will call him and tell him my peace of mind. Good. Good father. Because I know what he can do. <laughs> well, son, uh, you know what I can do. Yes. Good. But, uh, son, sincerely speaking, I will tell you something. I've been worried all these days about your attitude and your lifestyle. You're longer growing. Uh, Younger, you are getting old every blessed day. We are still single. I don't know. Father, I step at a time. Okay? I just want to take my time. I want to be sure that there's nothing between I and Princess Kaima anymore. Well, if you say so, no problem. But uh, just mind your time. But remember one thing that is written time, saves nine. Condition. Mama, will you stop? It's not like I am sick or something. I am just pregnant. Bam, 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 Mama, that's every woman's dream. Will you stop? Hi. Nothing is wrong with me. That the fact that I am pregnant does not mean I shouldn't do house chores. Stop worrying yourself, Mama. And at the end of the day, I've always wanted to live this life. Please. And it's here in my presence, so let me leave it, Mama. Please, I don't want anything to happen to you. Mama. It's okay, no problem. Since you insisted, be fast about it so that I can take you back to the king. Yes. Mama, you're wasting your time. You don't know my father. He's a very stubborn man. Uh, good morning. Uh, hello. Good morning. Hey, Papago? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. okay. All right. Good morning. Go, go Good morning. well, my son. 
please, when you get there, make sure you catch a big one. Sure. You get one hour this time. Sure. <laughs> okay. Can I go with you? <clears throat> Not today. Take care. Good luck. Mm. See you, love. <laughs> ne no love. Oh, <laughs> I know you miss him. But he will be back soon. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, Mama, as I was saying, what is it? I don't want you to bother yourself about me. My father is a very stubborn man. His words are A and Amen. Nothing on earth can make him change his mind. His beatings are just not good for me and I'm okay with I'm okay here. But the thing is this. We don't have the luxury to keep you here. Mama, I am not complaining. Have I complained before? I will never complain. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. Mm? Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. But about the sweeping, mm. be careful with it. Mama, stop. Jiwayo, I don't want anything to happen to. Oh, Manu. <laughs> Manu, we be kara. Okay, <laughs> let's be going continuing with what I was doing before I saw you. Oh, Mama. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, Mama, don't run again. No. All right, I'll take it then. <laughs> Um, I want to assure all of you that as far as I'm concerned, each and every one of you is here on his or her own volition. We are not forcing anybody to remain in service. You are here because you want to be here and because you enjoy being here and you're out because there is something you want to do outside any day you want to call it quits you are completely free so right now if any one of you wishes to call it quits indicate by raising up your hand Well, no one looks good. That's good. Neka wants to call it quits. She wants to end her service with the royal family. And we must bid her well. Neka, step forward. You have been of service to this royal house, and you will go in peace. Same. Uh, we wish you well. Same. You have seen service and you've seen joy. When you leave, you will also see happiness, you will see joy. Same. Whatever you put your hands on will prosper. Yeah. And your life will be meaningful. Yeah. Go in peace. All right. So, that is me. All of us coming. Yeah, you like it? I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. See, I want to thank you for everything you have been doing for me. Thank you. So, tell me, what exactly is going on? Relax. I just want to know you. Who is a Neka? <laughs> just the same way I want to know who is friend. Okay. Um... As you know, my name is Fred, and I'm the only child of uh, the great Mwachuku. You can say I was born with a silver spoon. I lost my mom a long time ago, and each time I remember her, I cry a lot. Oh, so sorry. I'm very sorry. 
It's okay. I can be best described as a sport brat. You know, being so egoistic hasn't taken me far in life. So I learned in a hard way. I decided to be humble. You know, I passed through a lot of things with Princess Kaima. And I wouldn't want to make such a mistake again. Well, I don't understand the whole thing. You asked me to resign as a palace maiden and promised to get me a good and recruitive job. So... Yes, you're resigning from the palace. Is the reason why we're here. This is the purpose. You know, I've decided to do most of the things I didn't do for Princess Kaima. You know, so I decided to take you for shopping, you know. Those are the things my ego didn't allow me to do while dating her. See, I want you by my side every now and then. <laughs> do you really want to marry me? Yes, I want to marry you. I love you. Yeah. See, I'm an orphan. I don't have anybody to speak for me. If you love me the way you, you just told me now, you need to protect me for I don't have any other person to speak for me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll treat you like a queen you are. All right? bright morning star you requested you know you always told me I'm growing old and all of that of course I promise to oblige to your request her name is Neka Neka meet my father the distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria senator Mwachiku my own father it's my pleasure sir <laughs> well um, Neka yeah, we go to my home. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> sir, you see, um, your son here, Fred, has told me a whole lot of beautiful things about you. <laughs> <laughs> and I must say that you fit everything that he said. <laughs> you see, Fred is my only son. In fact, he's the chief of the old block. Well, uh, he has fallen in love with you. And uh, that choosing you as his bride. But I don't really know an opinion about that. Sir, so, uh, Fred and I are in love with each other. And he has asked me to be his wife, and I've accepted. I love your son so much. Oh, what are we waiting for? Fred? <laughs> I'm so happy with the choice of a woman. Neka, you are welcome to my home. Thank you so much, sir. Well, start making your plans, because I'm in support of that. Well, uh, we're making your plans. Don't forget to put me in view. Thank well, you. Father, just want to thank you especially for supporting me. And of course, looking out for me every now and then. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> so, don't worry. And my next word? I will choose you as my Oh, friend. that would be as my own son, too. <laughs> well, thank both you of you so are welcome. Much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, uh, come, come, let me, let me show you okay. where you need to live off. This house. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sir. Come, 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 come. come. <sighs> Just that the 
not that much. But it's expected. Yes, as a pregnant woman, you need to add weight in some places. <laughs> but not much. Okay, but uh, Mama, the doctor even said I can do some exercise to help. Eh. Yes, what are they? Eh, not really hard exercise. Though. Like all these youngest of nowadays who want to become slim. You don't need that time. All you need to do is to walk around the compound. Eh? Gradually, systematically. Oh, you understand? Yes, you don't force it. Then you lose weight. But yeah, I, I prepared something for you to eat. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are complications in her pregnancy because she did not go through prenatal care. What's that supposed to mean, doctor? What are we supposed to do? Well, what it means is that she has to deliver through cesarean operation. What? Yes. Operation? Yes. Sorry, doctor. Is that the only option? I don't want her to deliver through operation. Operation is the safest thing in this very situation. It is the safest way to deliver under the circumstances. Nothing else is better. Okay, sir. If that is the only way forward, no problem. You can commence with the operation. I just want her to deliver. I just want her to put to bed safely. 
Uh, well, uh, not so fast. We're going to need the sum of 650,000 Naira for the operation to commence. Sorry, sir, how much? 650,000 Naira only. 65,000 or 750,000? Come on, the can now. <laughs> that is the standard price. As a matter of fact, it is the, it's the barest minimum. And I'm actually considering your situation. Sir, please, what, what was the last price? What was the last price for people my age? I just told you the barest minimum. For some other patients, it could be much, much higher than that. 650,000 Yes, it's a cesarean operation. Do you know the standard of this hospital? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Just, um, okay, no problem. If that is the only way forward, you can start the operation while I go and run around for more. No, no, no. It does not work that way. You better start running around immediately because without the money, we're not going to commence any operation. What? The earlier, the better. Don't forget two lives are involved. Mother and our own baby. said she would deliver through CS. Hey! Huh? That I should go and look for 650,000 more. 650,000 more? You will add the earlier the better. Ne <laughs> basic kick is what we got. Where are we going to get such amount from now? Hey, what? Why didn't you price? Yes. You should have priced now like 50,000, 70,000. What would be okay, Don't you know these people and how they bill? Once they pronounce their bill, once they print it, they don't even make amends. I've begged that man, he said no, that I must bring 650,000 naira before they can start operating on her. Uh, uh, yeah, the earlier, the better. That's uh, what is, what's really making me uncomfortable. I think, I think the main thing now is to start looking for how to raise this money. Maybe uh, not anyhow, can't you call your friends? Even with um, Kaima's father, let us try, please. Call who? Your friends. Your friends now. Look at me. Do I look like someone that has a friend that can raise 650,000 naira under one hour? Do they write it on their face or on their body? Uh, thank you. They, they might have it, they, they, won't, they won't show you. They won't make you understand that they have such, such amount in, in, in their estate. This is suicidal. We don't see even having anything. more suicidal if anything ugly should happen to her. Exactly. They, they just hurry, please. Hey, Mama. Let me go this I was told uh, you wanted to see and that it's an emergency. Yes, Your Highness. Shoot. Your Highness, it's an emergency. Emergency? Yes, Your Highness. It has to do with life and death. Yes, Your Highness. Um, it's about your daughter, Kaima. As we speak right now, she's in the hospital about to give birth. But the doctor says she can only deliver with CS. And is asking for 600,000 Naira. We are asked to deposit 350,000 before the operation will be carried out. Your Highness, that is why we are here. Is that why 
goes off to your idea. Oh, you. Are you here for something else? No, Your Highness, it's for the same reason. I want to clarify the situation for the interest of both of you and I want you to listen very well. Okay, Your Highness. Kaima ceased to be my daughter. The very day he, she disobeyed me, walked out of this palace on her own volition. Without my prompting, I did not ask her to leave. It's not as if I did not know how to or where to find her. But I allowed her. I allowed her to go and take a decision I allowed her to go and follow her heart on one condition. That I will cease to be her father. Your Highness, please forgive her. She is only a child. <sighs> When a child disobeys the parent, the, the, the parent can beat the child with one hand and then pet the child with the other hand. Please forgive her, please, Your Highness. Who are you? Who are you to two Tommy on how to treat a stubborn child? No, 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 no. Your, your Highness, no. We, we are all about to change her. If you loved her that much, why didn't you source the money and pay? Pay the bill. Pay the hospital bill. Instead of coming here to disturb me. And you don't, you know, you don't have that right. Not ever want to be disturbed with this. By the way, what are you doing? I, I am the, the mother in law. Lotanda is my son. Your faithful servant. I see. I want to take two counts. By the end of the two counts, I want both of you out of this panel. I start counting now. One! for you. For you to see someone who made you pass through such pains, dreadful pains, only to come back asking for you to aid him fulfill that which he has started. <laughs> it's worrisome. But please, calm down and think over it. Oh no. Thank you. My leniency is the cause of all this. But 
I will firm up. I will firm up so that everyone will know his limit. Mm. Your Majesty, once again, let me quickly say that uh, you are correct. Very correct. But I am worried about your health. Yes, seriously worried about your health. I advise you don't spend your energy and time talking about and, and overworking yourself out just because of low class. These people are nothing to you. Again, keeping them with you here in the palace is equivalent to always reminding you of the things you pass through. They made you pass through which you are forgetting gradually. Consider leaving them. Eh? Um, that's what I mean. And just leave them. Let them get out of your palace with their already frustrated lives. Let them get out of the palace. You forget them, forget the activities. And face better things. Mm. Yes, my friend. Well, what do I do? What do I do to them? Leave them to come. They can't. Yes. Leave them to come. Come will catch up with them. I am telling you the truth. Huh? Come will catch up with them. Okuyan. Uh uh. What is wrong? Uh -uh. Yes. Mm. <sighs> that is it, my junk. Oh no. Mm -hmm. You have said it all. You have. James! Yes, so much. Release the woman first. Secondly, release the son. But first, torture him. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> that is it, Your Majesty. <laughs> 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 It's been a while. Hey, happy to see you. You look good. Yeah, you too. Well, let's go into the car. Uh, we'll go to a white place and talk. No, 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 no. I, I have a serious challenge. I'm stressed out. Really? Yes. My wife, I mean my woman, she's about to go to bed. But the doctor said I must provide 650,000 naira before they can operate on her. Yes. It's a bad situation. I need that money. I mean, I'm in deep shit. I'm messed up. I don't have a dime on me. I don't have anybody to run to. Please, Jigos, if you help me, I'll be forever indebted to you. Please. Doctor, yeah. you are not messed up. You are my guy. How much do you say they need? 650,000 naira. 650. Life's at stake, please. Do you have the hospital's account number? Yes, no. Have, have the hospital's account. This is it. Okay. Okay. I will help you. Say lie. Yes, I will. Eh? 650. I will give it to you now. You want to transfer 650,000? Yes. I will do the transfer. Thank you very much, Chico. Thank you very, very much. God it's bless okay. you. Thank it's you okay. very much. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry, you are my guy. You know what you do for me? Far back. 
Thank don't you worry. very much. I, I can do anything for you, Lotta. Thank you very much. Ah, no, don't worry. Don't much. worry. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Just thank you very, very much. I appreciate this. It's all right. It's all right. It's all God bless you. So you go and take care of your wife. You just saved lives uh, now. No, there's no problem. Just give me your contact. Okay. I will call you, eh? 090 yeah. 613 yeah. 48 yeah. 345. All right. Thank you very I'll much. I'll give you a call. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's all right. That what? Yeah, I mean your pressure. Pressure on. Have you not gotten the alert uh, of the money they transferred? No. Uh -uh. I have not seen any alert, and until I confirm it, the sales will not start. Doctor, maybe network. I'm very sure that Lieutenant can never lie to you. Please, doctor, please. Doctor, I swear on my late father's grave, my friend Chigo Zioso. Transferred 650,000 naira into your account. I saw the debit alert. My son doesn't lie, you. My son doesn't Look at lie. My phone. Ah. There's no such alert here. Okay, please. Until I get the alert, there will be no CS. Yes. yes. That is the official position. Okay. Doctor, I don't know your official one. I don't know your official one. Don't stay here. No, just think if it's if it's your doctor that is involved here now. What are we going to do now? <laughs> what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? The doctor has gone. The doctor has gone. The doctor has gone. Everything will be fine. Look at my daughter in that is about to give birth to CS. We don't have the money. We don't have the money to go to Abigo. Pay for me on miracle. Let's have to leave her without your pressure. Pay for me on miracle. No, no, no. 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 Let's have to leave her safe like you. 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 Let's have to leave her Blood. Yes, no problem. Take my own. Okay. Alright. Come along. Let's take the sample. Alright. Alright, I will. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. Your Majesty. I understand you are still angry with Princess Kaima, your daughter. Over the steps she took. But please, I urge you to damn part of the blessing. That act of Kaima brought shame to this community. I regret having her as my daughter. No, 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 no. Your Majesty, don't go to that extent. That does not cancel her, the fact that she is your daughter. My king, remember that that girl is your daughter. Do not allow her to die with her baby. And besides, you know that the baby in her womb is your grandchild. Please. I know 
you are so much annoyed. But it is popularly said that it is popularly said that amongst our people that Nebuom Makiwe Makisi. If you kill because of anger, you will bury to avoid the smell. Be good. Even if you want to punish her, she is your daughter. You can go ahead and do that. But first of all, go right now to see her in the hospital. Possibly pick up the hospital bills. Eh? You are a king, her father. She's a princess. Please, forgive her. I cannot go back on my vomit. Your Majesty, you know we are too close from time. I was there when you promised your late wife on her dying bed that you would take good care of Kaima. Try and fulfill that promise which you made to the dead. Biko, eh? You don't allow that girl to, 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 to go hopelessly. She's a royalty, your own daughter. Thank you for hearing me once again. My king. Hey! Mama. My baby is so cute, just like his father. Yes. You can say that again, my princess. He's cute. Mama, where is Lutana? Lutana is, is fine. The baby is so fine. Just like his father. Yes. So handsome. I found where Lutana. I haven't seen him here. Has he come to see us? It's somewhere around. It's somewhere around the corner. No. Luta can't be somewhere around where the baby is here and I'm here. Um, so why are you crying? No, 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 I'm not. No, no, I'm not crying. Um, are you okay? Why are you crying? No, not at all. Is um, is tears of joy? Yes, tears of joy. Mama, don't tell me no lies. Where is Lotana? So I must say something. Um, the the doctors the doctor said he he had complications. And what complications? And. And what? And what? And what? So bad. So bad what? We, we lost him. Please. Oh, 
What have you come to do here, Father? I am asking you politely. What have you come to do here? To mock us? My princess, please. Don't talk to your father like that. No, Zoba. You witnessed what this man did to my husband and I. He visited us with so much cruelty and hostility. We pleaded with your father to show us some mercy since our only crime is to fall in love with each other. But what did you do? As many times as we came to you, you humiliated, embarrassed, and treated us with so much disdain. Now he's dead. Lotana has given his life for me to live. You are here to do what exactly, Father? To mock us? or celebrate the fact that your wish has come to pass. I curse you today, Father. I break every bond that we share as father and daughter. You will die a lonely and miserable death. The air that you breathe, the earth you walk on, shall be a curse upon you for as long as you live. Will you just stop, Kaima? Kaima, just stop it. No, Mama. I will not. Let the birds in the sky bear me witness, because I have spoken. The difference between you and Lutana Chika Dibe, my late husband, is that he gave his life for me to live. Something you, who birthed me, would never do. Today, I curse you again. You will scream for help, Father, and nobody will hear you. <laughs> Even when the world hears you, they will never come for you. You will die a lonely and miserable death. Let the birds in the sky bear me witness, because I have spoken. The difference between you and Lutana Chika Dibe, my late husband, is that he gave his life for me to live. Something you, who bettered me, would never do. Today, I curse you again. You will scream for help, Father, and nobody will hear you. <laughs> Even when the world hears you, they would never come for you. You will die a lonely and miserable death. Hey! 
Mm. Mm. Doctor. No. Before. The condition of our king, Iguan. Please. I don't know. We don't know what to do. Can you help us out? Doctor, please tell us. What is the problem with our king? To be honest with you, in my long years of practice, I have never seen this kind of disease before. What can we do to help him? Because from the tests conducted so far, yes. I can confirm to you that this disease is contagious. Child! <laughs> what do you say, It is contagious. Chilling. So you must all be careful about going close to him. If you must go close to him, then you have to wear nose mask and disposable hand gloves. Hey! You you understand? Understand? So that nobody will fall victim. Child, Dr. Biko! Um, in the meantime, we have to quarantine him. Yes, that is quarantine. We'll keep him in isolation. That means nobody will go there. While we monitor the symptoms. Hmm. Okay? Meanwhile, somebody has to be in charge of giving him this set of drugs every eight hours. Okay, every to eight help hours. his immunity. Hey! So, doctor, this will help you, man. Exactly. Hey! For now. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. You know you are the next to the king. Sorry, Muru, no, Unanka. How can I? Oh, no, we'll take this now. How can I go there? Bring it. Ah. You're always playing safe every time. Yeah, yeah, why would I play safe? Uh, this is a serious matter. Yes. Chihuahua. Chihuahua, baby. Let me show you give you these drugs as prescribed by the doctor every eight hours. Don't ah. fail. Do you have nose mask? Do you have one? Are disposable hand gloves? We provide for this. No, I have to take. Always try to see. Sure, sure. Thank you for coming. I can go. Take care of yourself, man. If there's any emergency, you can call. Okay. Thank you, doctor. It's well done. Thank you. The Iwe became sick, and the doctor said the sickness is contagious. Chihuahua went to give him medicine, only for him to run out like a mad dog. The next thing we had is, he is infected. My dear, first thing tomorrow morning, I am leaving this palace. My life is more important. Eh? Hmm. Guinea, and who is going to do your chores? Stay there and be talking about chores. My life and the palace chores. Which one is more important? Pico, answer. Hey. Which one is more important? Are you not the princess a, a personal maid again? <laughs> this one is just like your money or your life. My life first. Please let us go to bed and sleep. Oh, I can't even sleep. I'm worried. Eh? Hey. Even though this room might be even infected. Jeez. Hey. Is that how you are? Is that how you are? <laughs> no, let me sleep first because right now I can't even sleep. Well. Your Majesty, my king. Your Highness, I'm 
Oh. Your Majesty. Please. Go to Kaim. My daughter. I sweet her. Beg her to come and and see me. She she will resist but beg beg her. I need to see her. I know. Your Majesty. I am. I am dying. My whole physical body. Is in pain. <clears throat> Even my soul, my soul is is wishing to to. Your Majesty, consider it done. I will do just that. But be it known to you that uh, you, you are not going anywhere. You will not die. My king, you will pull through. Oh? Miri Miri. Hmm. Your Highness, you will live. You will not die. Oh no. Hmm. Let's go and fetch the princess right now. Let's go. Let's go. Our royal princess, Kaima, we are here because of you. Your father, the king of our kingdom, sent us to you. He needs to see you. I is urgent. Please. Your king ceased to be my father the day he denied me the right to my choice. Go. Go and tell him that I, Chikaima, have vehemently refused to see him. My princess, there's a situation here. He is seriously sick. If you're going to see him with fasting his recovery, why don't you do so? I will do no such thing. I will never do a thing like that. God forbid it that I, Chikaima, will go to see the man who murdered my husband. God forbid it that I will walk from this place to go and salvage whatever it is that has been destroyed. I will never do a thing like that. Where was he? Where was your king when 650,000 naira was needed to save my life and that of my child? He has the opportunity to help. Instead, he seized it. He seized it to carry out vengeance on Lotana, who did nothing to him. And here you are, seated on my late husband's chair, begging me to go and help a man who murdered him over my dead body. My princess, you did not kill Lotana. Lotana died at the hospital. Is it not true? What was the cost of his death? The doctor said that he had complications. Is that not true? Exactly. That was the report. That's a lie. That's a huge lie from the pit of hell. 
that man tortured my husband, denied him every access to saving me. He never showed mercy. He never tampered justice with mercy. Not for once did he do anything. Remembering that I, Chikaima, his only child's life was at stake. He never lifted a finger. That man you call a king, I repeat, killed my husband. I will never forget that. You are perfectly correct, my princess. I want you to know something. This man you are talking about, he is your father. And everyone knows that. Hey, we all know that. That man you call my father is a murderer. Princess, I know of all this. And I did my best to make, to make sure things get better. But they couldn't walk the way I expected. Even at that, Princess, please. The mother is this. The die is cast. The king is sick. He needs his daughter's attention. Please, do find a place in your heart and forgive him. Forgive your father. It is human to her, but divine to forgive. Definitely. Can you go? go? My princess. My princess, please. Are you going to So my father went through all of that. Boss, the doctor assured us that he will be fine. Yes, that was what the doctor said. He will be fine. Yes, he will be fine. That comes up. Doctor, I know. You're welcome, Doctor. Jay, with you. I know. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. You're welcome, Doctor. Um. No. Doctor, no. Lotana is alive. Huh? Lotana is alive. So the one can do very much alive. How? As a matter of fact, he would have been here with me, but um, he is scared of Igwe. Doctor, <laughs> doctor, wait, wait. Lutanda is alive. Yes, he is still alive. How? He's still alive. What do we do? Let's inform the doctor. Okay, you go inform the doctor. Why are we here with you? Hey! As a matter of fact, um, he is doing something right now. Uh, he is gathering some natural herbs, which he assured me will cure our igwe. Oh. Hey, hey. Daughter! I have done my own bit. Hey. He will now add his own. But that is if igwe permits him to come here. No, Igwe must permit him. No, he, he wants to. Yeah? He wants because we want him, we want him to, to, get, to get well. He has given him permission already. Uh, doctor, no, please. Are you sure that Lutanda is alive? 100%. I cannot bear <laughs> fake news. I cannot bear fake news. Can yes, I? he's a doctor. He will come. I'm going to talk to my father. In fact, my do you mind going with me? Let's go. Hey! Yeah. 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 My good people of Umunoha Kingdom, 
I welcome all of us here. Greetings. Greetings, my dear. You're welcome. Hmm. Uh, I now have to announce to you what makes us happy today. In the first place, we all know that our king is not very strong enough now to officiate, to officiate in all kingdom businesses. But now, he has mandated me to do this assignment for him. Hmm? Because the king feared that maybe if he is not taken, he might take a journey to the great beyond. <laughs> but we pray. Hmm? Oh, no, uh, nothing. I said nothing will happen to our king. He will return he here alive. He said. He said exactly my prayer. You will put to. Um. I know that nothing will happen to my father. He said. And I also pray that. He lives to see his grandson. He says. Good, good. My princess. The ancestors have had it. Your father, our king, will surely put you. He says. He Ah. Another one like the other is the happy news proper. Lotanna. Having fulfilled all conjugal marital rights. And is marrying the princess now. Her own princess. Princess Kaim. He has been seen as qualified to become the crown prince of this great kingdom. Oh no, it shall be done right now. Uh, and I concur. <laughs> I concur. I concur. I concur. I concur. I agree. <laughs> is that what they is that what they speak it? Concur. Oh you both. Oh my god, Sassia, I concur. Concur, I know. I know we're king. I know we're king. So uh Egumwa, have you said all this? We can let us do justice to this colour. Oh, I got and the tricks. Oh, I got Oh, 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 the words of a drunkard turned out to be true. My sister sent him on an error. Who call him? Yes, I sent him to buy a sort of maggie to spice of my food. Eh? Hope no problem. Eh? Jesus! Eh? Are you crazy? Eh? Who call him? Nkoli, you slapped me! Yes, I will do that and do that again! Stay away from my child! Nkoli, because I'm, I'm not able to have a child, that's why you slapped me. Nkoli, if it isn't to give birth to a child, open your leg and give birth to one. Hey, open Jesus. your leg. Nkoli! Hmm? So because... 
On the street, you're mocking me. And me. Nkoli, you don't know before. You're a witch. Yes. Huh? You are a witch. You want to chop my child, Abby? You want to eat my son, ba? Nkoli, you're calling me a witch. Yes. I know that you're a witch. It's because you cannot give birth to a child. If you can give birth to a child, you don't give birth to one. Yes. me. Yes, you're a, a witch. witch. Yes, you're a witch. I am also. You try to win one. You're calling me a witch. Carry it's yours. You're calling me close to my child again. You're calling me a witch. Me. Hey, Chimo. Me, witch. You're calling you slap me. You're my little mama. I see You are carrying your heart, disturb you. <laughs> just pass, please. Just, just go, just go. <laughs> Apanku sees both visible and invisible things that is happening in this community. Don't you know that you are carrying a king in your womb? The time of your joy is now. <laughs> Am I listening to this drunk? Eh? None of my li lineage is even related to, to royalty. Eh? Okay. Where, where, where will King come from? Where? Peg. Little children don't understand the things of the spirit. <laughs> you won't understand. <laughs> As you defend them, you they sweet me. I see they pain them. You they sweet me. My sister. Indeed, one that shall never end. The God that I serve. Hi! This God in heaven. Only Sabi Nigwe. The God that will not allow his children to be mocked. He has remembered me indeed. And you know, the scan said it's a baby boy. Bouncing baby boy. That is, boy, he gonna bounce, bounce. You want to go? God has done it for me. Eh? Take it easy. My waist. Oh, ah. 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 Rub my waist, rub my waist. Oh. I cannot walk it. Ah. 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 Ah.
almost there. My leg, my leg, my leg. Almost there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Almost there. Gods of our land, I thank you. May your name be praised for this fulfillment of destiny. Let me go back and join the merriments. Thank you. 